You want to see what's going on in the garden? It's a jungle. But it's pretty fun. It's the end of July, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in our garden right now. So, starting at the bottom, there's nothing there, just weeds. We have peas along here that are just starting to come on. There's some lettuce that's not doing well, and I kind of half gave up on it. It's kind of overgrown and crazy. This is corn that is half doing well. The pigs got out and uh, rooted up a bunch of this row, so I had to replant it, and it didn't replant too nicely. But the peas are just starting to come on, so this is my third succession of peas, and honestly, it's almost at the same place as my first succession. This is my third succession of cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and it's doing really well. It's where I thought it would be. It only got planted a month ago. And the marigolds in here, these are called like vanilla something. Oh, mosquito. And I really like them. So I just weeded in these strawberries and I do, I'm not expecting them to give anything this year. I'm actually not sure on the variety, but they might do something in fall, but they're giving so many runners, so many runners. So I can expand it. I left lots of empty holes so I could put the runners in. Our potatoes are a jungle. They look amazing though. So when we hilled the potatoes, which was more of a job than it, we hoped it would be, Marius lined all the rows with hay for weed and water retention. Weed reduction, water retention. They look beautiful. When I run out of the potatoes, I bought a 50 pound box of potatoes. When I run out of them, I'm gonna start digging new potatoes, even if it kills Marius because he feels they have to get as big as possible, but I'd rather pick some baby ones. In here, this row has been a rock star. So we have cabbages, and I've already picked about three cabbages. I probably have froze 25 pounds of broccoli and I still have more. And also this broccoli keeps sending off more beautiful side shoots. So I leave the plants and they give more. In here, I picked 30 pounds of cauliflower. I still have more cauliflower. I left the plants in just to help keep weeds down and that it would just compost in. Smaller cauliflower, smaller broccoli, some beautiful cabbages, like so beautiful. And then down here is my second succession. I think this is mostly broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. And this is the second succession of them that was planted. So these were planted like mid-May. The ones at the bottom were planted end of June and these ones were planted in between there. So you can see teeny baby Brussels sprouts, but they got a long way to go. Along here is my cucumbers. There's the odd tomato plant too. Cucumbers, squash. We honestly haven't got the heat for it yet. I picked a couple cucumbers and a couple zucchinis but first they got hit hard by frost there's lots of little tiny ones and I know if we get some heat they'll explode because like look at all the zucchinis on there bazillion and then some pumpkins and squashes up here and more weeds I haven't got much weeding done recently and I need to get on that so we planted a second succession of potatoes here 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 because we had the space and we had the seed, so we decided to go for it. Um, some of them are a lot smaller. They might only be baby potatoes. That's fine. In here, there's a fourth succession of peas. They're a few inches tall. Doing well. Hoping those will be nice fall peas. Those are just weeds. There's nothing there. And down here, let's hop this row. we got to hill these potatoes pretty quick. I have green beans. First green beans got hit hard by frost and I planted a second succession. Second succession is these ones that are a little purpley versus these the first succession and honestly you can barely tell the difference. So next year I'm going to wait way longer to plant green beans. But you can see lots of them coming on in there. And I'm excited for that. So then up here we have my first round of peas which are giving beautifully so delicious. We eat them when they're nice and young and tender. Eat the whole dang thing. And there's peas like crazy. 
they just pop out of nowhere. I should have uh, trellised them a lot sooner so they weren't trellised very well. This is called outrageous romaine. I have a bigger succession of this up at the house with some carrots. Um, and then this is the last of my first succession of romaine. It's just starting to bolt. I picked some for the pigs yesterday. You wouldn't believe how much romaine came out of here, guys. Out of this tiny little patch, I felt like we were eating Caesar salad every dang day. It was so great. We're a little tired of it, though. People would come over and you'd give them romaine, leave it in their truck. The kale. I keep picking it. Eating it, drying it, freezing it, all the things. And still, I need to find someone to give a bunch of kale away to. Because I need to pick and thin a bunch. Here is a bunch of carrots. The germination was not great on them. But that's okay. I have more carrots up at the house. In here I have... All sorts of leeks. Some of them I planted sooner than the others, so these ones are a bit smaller. And down here they're a bit bigger. Lots of leeks. Some of them are for my sister. Same with the broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. Some are for my sister. Up here is a jungle. I had extra pepper plants and tomato plants and such that I decided to just plant out here to see how they'd go. We're only zone 2-3, so historically they don't do great outside. Calendula is beautiful. I've been picking and drying all the heads. And then up here, I had the space, and I was able to get a bunch of discount squashes and such, so I have a little spaghetti squash. Our summer's been so cold that I don't know if it's going to do anything. I really hope it does something, but if it doesn't, I mean, you can't expect everything to do amazing every year. Our potatoes are looking amazing. I'm getting so much broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, so many peas, so much lettuce. We're winning in so many ways. You're always going to lose at something in the garden. You can't expect it all to win. So one of the reasons I planted so many broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and leeks, more than we could possibly eat and freeze and all that jazz, is because my sister had to do a big drainage ditch through her garden. Um, there, they had springs pop up and it was flooding their silage field. And their silage field monetarily is more important than some vegetables, unfortunately. So I had this space and I was able to get a bunch of discount starts from a friend's nursery. And so I planted all these for her. She's froze a bunch of broccoli already. I've got more cauliflower for her to freeze and she's had cabbage and such too. We've been eating all these things like crazy. And last year I didn't have a garden and I ate out of her garden all summer long. So it's nice to be able to give some back to her. I didn't plant garlic this year, last year I should say, but she has lots of garlic. She wasn't able to plant potatoes, so we're gonna trade. She's gonna give me some garlic. I'm gonna give her a pile of potatoes. And I'm really anxious to see how many potatoes we get. Marius is like, I think I might have to take time off work to uh, dig potatoes because we got a lot of potatoes to dig. But then we realized my mom and stepdad are gonna be here about the time to pick potatoes. So we might be roping my stepdad into digging potatoes with us. <laughs>